everybody, Jen and Beans here with GirlyDoHairStyles.com. We are doing the tutorial today for all of you that have asked about how we curl the hair before we do our tutorials. This is how we style Beans hair. Um, if I'm doing an updo or something, I would put something in it before. This is one of my favorites. It's, it's Hairstay Style Boost. It's KMS um, product. It's from their Hairstay line. It's style, style Boost. It's kind of like a primer for your hair. It's going to make... Um, your style lasts a lot longer. This is one that I've kind of found that I like when I'm doing updos. So you would put that in, you would blow dry the hair like normal, and then you would curl it and do what you want. But it just kind of makes it hold the style a little bit longer. So for beans, we have nothing in it today. Um, but I usually don't. For most of my tutorials, I, I generally don't. So not a big shocker there. Okay, so how I do it is I part from the top of her ears. I don't worry too much about my part lines or anything, but I just kind of part that, and this is what I curl first. I'll show you. We'll walk you through how I do the whole thing. My favorite, and this is going to sound awesomely professional of me, but this Conair is one that I will buy over and over and over again. It's a one and a quarter inch barrel. I've seen one and a half. I've seen two. I've seen three, but the one and a quarter is so hard to find, and, and it's just perfect size. So that's my favorite one. For this bottom one, since it's going to get squished down anyway, I generally will just curl it under. And I keep the, meat, the heat moving a little bit. Okay? So simply that. For the bottom layer, just curl under. Since this part is around the sides, I'll go back in on the sides. And I will curl that more. Now if you missed how I curl, and that's how I'm going to curl throughout the whole thing, I don't start from the bottom and wrap up. I start near the top, and I give it a twirl, loosen, twirl, loosen, and I do that anytime I'm using my curling iron. That way this part gets the least amount of heat. This is going to get more. It's going to hold longer. Let me show you while we're down here the difference between like my type of curl and one where you start at the bottom and curl all the way up. First of all, this is painful on your wrists in my opinion. So once you do that, we'll leave it on. But the curl is completely different. It's a little bit of a heavier curl and you almost don't get any curl in this whole part until the very bottom. So, I mean, you decide which curl you like better. I like that one. So, next part, I don't worry about, like, sectioning anything of that off. Okay, so I go about to her temple on both sides, and I just kind of part it. Again, I don't worry too much about my parting lines because we're just curling her hair right now. So, no big deal. So same thing, except for on this one, I do something different. I will usually start right here, because at her face, I want it not to curl in towards her face. I want to make sure that it curls out. So I will start from the sides, and I will curl it away from her face to make sure that we don't have it covering up her cuteness. And then if you ever get curls that get um, bundled together, this is how you kind of can avoid that. So curl number one, then I'm going to part out the next one, and this one I will curl towards her face. And I'll go back and forth curling each direction because then they don't get tangled up together and become one big curl. This is how you can keep them into being separate curls. So there's number two. Just keep going.
Once I get to the middle area of the head, I'm going to stop and I'm going to go to this side of her face to make sure that I get the curls going the right direction. Again, I'm not curling the first curl towards the face, I'm curling it away from the face. So on my last one, every once in a while you have one that goes the same direction because this is actually going the same direction as this side. As long as it's not all over the place, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So I notice also that I'm not combing through anything because I'm not going to do that until it all kind of, when it's warm if you pull through it, it's going to straighten a little bit. So leave it alone. Just leave it be. Okay, so for up here, how we're going to do it. What I like to do is um, I part it right down the middle, and I don't necessarily part her hair down the middle, but I am going to part this down the middle. Hold that, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to turn you this way a little bit. And this one. I don't start it up here. I just have to watch my partings really carefully and make sure that this last one curls away from the face. But I start it right here because the curve of her head is still right here and I don't want to curl this one the wrong way. I want to make sure that this one curls back so that it hangs right over that so that she doesn't have any weird lifts and bumps in her hairstyle. So I make sure that this one's curled in the shape of her head. And then I still do the same thing. I go every other direction. So this one was going this direction, so the next one's going to go towards her face. Okay, we're on our last little section. Remember this is going away from her face. Now one thing, I like to make sure that she's looking up. If she's looking down, the curls don't end up as good. So I make sure that she's looking straight forward. And in the video, I am pulling it up on purpose. It's not just for the angle of the camera, it's because you want it to be up a little bit more to give it a little bit more volume as it falls down. You want to direct it that high up makes it convenient for the video, but you really do want to pull it up that high. So, And this is the last one. Again, I said it's going away from the face. Any curl that you have near the face, you actually want it directed away from the face. If it's going towards the face, it's not as flattering of a curl. Turn and look this way. See how it's going away from her face, and then as we brush through, it'll be going away from her face as well, and it's just more opening to the face. So, turn this way, and then we'll curl up this last section, and we'll be done and ready to kind of brush through this.
Okay, so we have the curl all finished and done. So we're going to make sure that it's all cooled before we brush through any of it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and give her back her part even before I separate too much. Okay, and then I'm never going to use any tools in it. I'm just going to run my fingers through it just to separate and break up those curls. And that is it. I may spray it a little bit. Just a glass little thing. Still manageable. Still can put my fingers through it. That curl is perfect. And you don't have the curls that get all curled together and look like one big clump because we went every other direction. And that's how we do our curl. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.